I have a tip for you guys that's gonna save you a lot of time when building. Check this out. First of all, if you like to coat parts as do I with conformal coating, and I coat just about everything, sometimes you have to wait for it to dry. Well, there's a couple things that you can do that'll save you time. I never wait. I basically build and I keep going as I, as I go. One thing that I recommend you get is a black light, which is basically a UV light. I'll put a link in the description to this one on Amazon or one that I would recommend. And then just a heat gun. So a couple of things you need to keep in mind. The silicon modified conformal coating is modified in that they've added an element or an agent that reflects UV light to let you know when a part is coated. So when you coat a part with it, and you use a black light, you can totally see what parts have been coated and what parts haven't. See, I have a little bit of a low spot here, but everything else is pretty well coated. But down here, as you can see, all areas are well coated except for this bit, that bit, and there. So I have to retouch that. If I go ahead and turn off more light, You'll see how bright it actually gets from the UV light. Now, this is actually twofold. There's another benefit to it. If you coat the part, as soon as you coat it and you want to keep working pretty quickly, with this black light, it will actually help it dry quicker. You see, there's a chemical reaction in the compound, in the silicon conformal coating, that obviously is affected by air and UV light that helps it cure a lot quicker. So if you go ahead and coat it, and right after you coat it, you wait a few seconds or a couple of minutes and you hit it with this, it'll actually dry a lot quicker. I discovered this because I tried to fill in the gaps with a brush while I was shining light and I actually dried up my brush. The other thing I do is that after I do that, I'll wait a few minutes and I'll come back and hit it with a heat gun. So you don't want to make it too hot where you melt parts, but just enough to help cure the coating. And you keep working, doing your thing, come back a few minutes later, do that again a couple times, and within 20 minutes or to half an hour, you can keep working on the part. A lot of people think, oh, to do conformal coating, you gotta wait all night, you know, overnight for it to dry. Well, no, you can just do it like this and keep working throughout. You can do the whole quad in one sitting if you cycle the steps and just go ahead and dry the coating like that. So I hope that saves you a lot of time. At first, I didn't do it like that, and when I discovered that, it really changed the way I actually build quads, so, bye.